it, isn't it? It's all over. Costa Rica beat Italy, England are, as we all suspected after that defeat by Uruguay, out of the World Cup after two games, our worst ever showing. It's depressing. It's miserable. It's horrible. But let's be honest, we feared it, didn't we? We looked at that draw. We saw Greg Dyke's cutthroat gesture. And most of us thought, yeah, he's got a point. Shouldn't have expressed it like that, but he's got a point. And, and so it proved. Now, Dyke and the FA have made their position fairly clear. They believe Roy Hodgson should stay on. There'll be many who disagree. Many of you will be thinking of this. That'd be silly. But there were positive signs from this World Cup. You get forgotten after that performance against Uruguay, I'm sure. The way England played against Italy is the way forward. We want to play with that attacking foot. We want to try and hurt teams. Trouble is, our defence is a defence in name only. And at this level, if you can't defend, you lose. So what do England do now? Gerard, I'm afraid, obviously, he's 34, he goes. Frank Lampard goes. I think Phil Jagielka and Glenn Johnson also. But the basis of the squad is not too bad. Look at those strikers. Look at Sterling. Look at Barkley. Look at Sturridge. Look at Welbeck and, uh, um, and Wilshire and Oxlade Chamberlain and Luke Shaw. And even Joe Hart. It's not that terrible. We need to find a centre-half to play alongside Cahill. We need to find a right-back. We've got two years to plan. You or me can get this England team to the Euros. When we get there, we've got to be better. Can we? We'll see. It's a shame that England aren't hanging around in Brazil as long as we want them to. Sometimes, though, you need the darkest night to start to find the brightest dawn. Let's hope so. I don't want to go through this again and again and again. Martin Lipton, premierfootball.uk, on the Copacabana, life's a beach.